Hello, I'm Frost from KAUST, King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. I'm a program chair of the Activity Net Challenge of 2020. In this video, I will shortly introduce the temporal action localization task in the challenge. In the temporal action localization task, we care about two questions. What activity is happening in the video? And when does the activity happen? As a human, it is simple to answer these questions for this video. The activity is long jump, and it happens from 120 to 132, from 143 to 159, and so on. Now, let's formally define the task. We take as the input a long untrimmed video and we expect the localization system to return the temporally localized activity, its activity class, and the start and end time. Our goal is to encourage the development of automated systems to recognize and localize human activities in videos. We would like to see the automated system push the limits of human activity understanding and eventually benefit our society. For example, we can integrate a temporal action localization system in the live stream to prevent unexpected activities such as suicide, violence, or pornography. Also, the system can be equipped on surveillance cameras to detect abnormal activities. Another application example would be the following. Google Search has a feature that supports finding instructions in videos. If you Google how to vacuum a pool in your web browser, you can see the activity is automatically localized as a result. However, if we Google how to vacuum a mattress, it will only suggest you to buy a vacuum machine online. An automated system with better human activity understanding can extend this feature to support more activities for search and retrieval. Now let's talk about the solutions to the localization problem. What are the state-of-the-art methods to do temporal action localization, and how do they reach the state-of-the-art performance? Current methods can be generally categorized into three paradigms. Figure A shows the bottom-up paradigm. It classifies each single video frame or snippet and post-processes the classification score to produce action prediction. In Figure B, we have the top-down fashion that generates temporal action proposals from the video, and then evaluates the confidence scores of proposals respectively or simultaneously. We can also do it end-to-end, -end, as shown in Figure C, where the actions are directly detected from the untrimmed video input. According to the participant submissions over the past few years, we always see methods from these three paradigms or their combination. Before talking about the challenge result, I would like to share some statistics of our dataset here. The ActivityNet version 1.3 dataset contains 700 hours of video. Those videos record human activity from 200 activity categories. And we have a total of 23,000 activity instances in the dataset. Now let's see the submissions from this year. Our evaluation server opened on May the 5th, and the majority of the submissions were uploaded in the last week before the server was closed. Our server evaluates the submission by temporal mean average precision. 
for any prediction in the submission file, it is marked as positive if the TLU, the temporal intersection of a union, is greater than some alpha. Otherwise, it's considered as a false positive. We average the mean average precision at 10 different alpha values from 0 0.5 to 0 0.95. Also, only one prediction must match with the ground truth. That means we penalize the duplicate predictions at the evaluation time. Taking a glance at the overall performance of all teams, this bar figure shows the distribution of the best submission from each of them. Most teams reaches over 33% average MAP before the server closed. In our workshop in 2019, we reported the best entry at 39.7%. Impressively, this year, all five teams surpasses last year's best result. Now, I'm going to announce the top five teams on the ActivityNet action localization task for this year. The fifth team is from ZTE, Zhongxing, with an average MAP of 40.6%. The fourth team is from Shanghai Jiao Tong University with an increment of 0.5%. The third team is from SenseTime Group Limited, Shangtang Keji, with an increment of 0.9% over the fourth team. The second team is from the collaboration of Baidu Viz and SJTU. Shanghai Jiao Tong University with an average MAP 42.5%. Finally, the winning team from Huazhong University of Science and Technology reached 42.8 in the test set and improved the best entry by 3.1% from 2019. Congratulations to all the teams. In the following sections, Baidu Viz and SJTO team will share their experience. Their team won the first prizes in 2018 and 2019. In this year, they are the runner-up, but have a very close score to the task winner. Later, the team of Huazhong University of Science and Technology will also report their method. It's the first time for this team to win this honor is the ActivityNet challenge. We also have four spotlights to share the novel ideas from this year participants. We hope each of you in audience can benefit from their talks and achieve better results next year. You never know, the state of the art may be your submission next year. Thank you for watching. Hi everyone, it's my honor to share our solution for all of you. We are the team from Baidu Wiz and uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University. My name is Jia Ling Gao. And in this challenge, we propose the multimodal fusion network based on relation aware pyramid network for temporal action localization tasks. Our framework consists of three parts, the purpose generation, action classification, and lead fusion for multimodals. Here we forced to show the general information in this challenge, then illustrate the framework and our lessons learned. We observe the convention in this field and first embedded the video content in the video into the snipped never video representations. A final embedding of each video is a 2D feature map which is generated 
generated by a sliding window without overlap. A sliding window size air is 16 and it averages the embedded over 16 frames in order to cope with various duration of all the training videos we resize the length of each video into a fixed length and our solution follows the previous works and adopts two-stage pipeline we sep separately train the proposal generation model and the video level ex action classification in, in this year we also employ different modalities including optical flow and RGB images for the model assembly and this is our framework consisting of four parts feature extraction feature combination RepNet for proposal generation and the double pyramid attention cluster net for video level action classification first we adopt models pre-trained on kinetics or activity net to generate rgb and optical flow based snapping never video representations then we obtain action proposals using um, two string modalities afterwards we utilize the soft EMS as post-processing to suppress the redundant proposals and finally equip them with action categories for this task. For the challenge, we learn the lessons in three aspects. First, proposal is very important for accurate localization, especially the top 10 candid candidates retrieved. Second, high quality proposals should have three pro uh, proprieties flexible durations and locations, precise temporal boundaries, and context for reliable confidence score. Third, the complementary characteristics are still worth exploring for this challenge. And the first part in our solution is the proposal generation. And this method is based on the previous work RepNet. We make some modifications to help it more suitable to this challenge. Here we briefly introduce the RepNet. It contains four components. Very embedding networks such as ResNet, i3D and other models in the action recognition. Global, global context extractor for generating TAG proposals and the third one is temporal pyramid network for generating action aware relation aware proposals and finally refinement and re-ranking module for combining these two kind of proposals that TAG proposal and relation aware proposals it can achieve high precise boundaries and perform well in temporal action proposal generation task it also achieved the second prize in last year activity challenge in the proposal generation track the core of RepNet lies in the relation aware module this module formulates the relation between two temporal positions as context and captures the bi-directional temporal contextual information for augmenting the model in solving the problem of action context configuring to this end the pyramid network integrated with this module could generate proposals with more precise boundaries the detailed application study was shown in this paper if you are interested in it you can refer it for more details and in this challenge we modified the RepNet to capture more context for evaluating confidence score which is inspired by the previous work published in ICCV19 called BMN 
four changes have made for our RepNet version 2. We first changed the simple convolution in a building block with residue connection, which makes the train processing more stable. And then we add a projection layer before and after the downsampling layer, respectively. In addition, we changed the original MaxPro layer serving as downsampling operation to the con convolution operation with Stride 2. And finally, we capture more context in anchor head modular for boundary regression and the confidence score generation, which is illustrated with red lines in the right part of this slide. After modification, we obtain the new architecture for this challenge. It's simple but more effective compared with the original network published in AAAI 20. Details are shown in these figures, and we remove the global context extractor and the boundary refinement and re-ranking modular. The next part in this slide is that the action classification net we are going to sh uh, illustrate this third. We propose the double pyramid attention since we obtained the SNP never features and we can use the RSTM, GRU and the PECnet for the final classification by modeling the temporal information and the top one and top 5 accuracy are shown in table 1 and uh, our video level packnet achieves the best performance in classification and the example results got improved for this challenge and we adopted the re example results as the action prediction combined with our proposal generation for the action detection. And the last part is going to share the lead fusion for multimodals. And in the beginning, we extract several features generated from different models pre-trained on different data sets. We explore the combination of these features TSNK800 donates that the TSM model fine tunes on the activity net with an action classifier for 2001 categories. The result is find it's uh, the result of this TSNK800 is. 34.05 percentage. The performance of our uh, TSNK400 is 33.76 percent. And the two string models are also pre trained on uh, Kinetics 400. It achieves 33.76 uh, 30, Eight six percentage performs in action detection, while the single flow string only obtains the um, thirty two point zero three percentage of MAP. It was demonstrated that a good embedding of visual content can dramatically improve the performance in this task. And for the latter fusion, we collect all the generated proposals from different features such like uh, TSM models and P3D models, ResNet I3D models, and adopted the soft EMS as post-processing to generate the sub submitted results. And in addition, we also tried an example with BMN, which evaluates confidence score for all proposals simultaneously with rich context. 
the BMN consists of temporal evaluation module on the boundary matching confidence map. It evaluates the densely distributed proposals so that it has better confidence score for proposal retrieving. We use it to decay the original confidence score from RepNet. And for the final submission, we use four features of five features to train our RepNet version 2 with temporal random random crop operation and finally exam them with soft EMS. And thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, please contact with me. Here are my email. Thanks again. Hello everyone. We are a team from Huazong University of Science and Technology and Alibaba Group. I am honored to do this report on behalf of our team. Our team won the championship in the ActiveNet Challenge, Temporal Action Localization Test. Below, I will introduce our specific method. This report will consist of following five parts. Temporal action organization, mainstream allow season, CBR net, results presentation, conclusion. First, temporal action organization. Test description. The purpose of the test is to temporarily localize intervals where actions of interest occur and predict the action categories in a long untrimmed video. Start. End. Categories. Next, I will introduce the metrics of the test action localization test. AUC. AUC is used to evaluate the relation between recall and proposal number on ActiveNet 1.3. Here under the ARVSAN term is used as matrix, where AN varies from 0 to 100. MAP, mean average precision, is used as evaluate metric, where Average precision is calculated on each action classes respectively. On activity net 1.3, average MAP with IOU shadow set from 0 0.5 to 0 0.95 with a step of 0 0.05 are used. Second, next string of reasons. First, anchor-based approach. The anchor-based approach may be borrowed from the SSD method in object detection, and usually builds a multi-layer pyramid on the features. Advantages, end-to-end -end channel, boundary adjustable, disadvantages, further boundaries, Second, boundary-based approach. The boundary-based approach is mainly composed of positioning action starting time point and end time point to form a proposal. So, the boundary-based approach is a bottom-up method. Advantages, high recall rate, disadvantages, Competition consuming fixed boundary. The third part, CBR net. Pipeline. The following picture shows the pipeline of our CBR net. Our CBR net consists of three parts. First, video representation. Second, proposal generation. Third, 
proposal refinement. Video representation. We used three previous networks for video representation of our CBR net. Temporal segment network, TSN. Inflected 3D ComNet, I3D. Flow fast network. The top one classification results of TSN is 79.1. The top one classification result of I3D is 81.2. The top one classification result of slow fast is 18.7. Point three. The final top one classification result can reach ninety one point seven. Proposal generation boundary matching network BMN. The BMN is mainly composed of two modules, temporal evaluation module and proposal evaluation module. The goal of the temporal evaluation module is to evaluate the starting and ending probabilities for all temporal locations in the untrimmed video by consuming two temporal 1D convolutional layers on the feature maps. These boundary probability sequences are used for generating proposals during post-processing. The goal of the proposal evaluation module is to generate a boundary matching confidence map, which contains confidence scores for distinctly dispute the proposals. Temporal evaluation module and proposal evaluation module are jointly trained in BMN. CBRNet proposal subnet. Our CBRNet proposal subnet consists of Three parts. First, boundary matching network BMN. Second, DILSTM. Third, transformer. Especially, in the competition, we use BILSTM and the transformer to encode in the relationship between different time points in the feature map. Proposal refinement. The proposal refinement of CBRNet consists of four parts. Cascade RCNN, BILSTM, Transformer, Non-Local, the details of boundary refinement subnet are showed in the right picture. The purpose of the proposal refinement is to refine the boundary of the proposals. Fourth, without the presentation. Proposal results. The AR1 is 35.5. The AR5 is 52.1. The AR10 is 59.6. The AR100 is 76.7. And the AUC is 69.6. Below is the AUC schematic diagram. Detection results. Combine the results of proposal and the detection. We can observe 1. High recall rate usually means high detection performance. 2. Using some method to capture long distance dependencies in CBRNet, such as BI and STM can well capture the temporal relationship and thus improve the detection performance. 3. There is some complementarity between 
modules such as BMN and CBRNet. 4. Video representation also plays an important role in improving detection performance. The fifth part is conclusion. Conclusion 1. We propose CBRNet, a novel action detection network. 2. The experimental results show that CBRNet can significantly improve the detection performance. 3. In the competition, we also assemble some other previous networks for better performance. Also, difficulty. In the competition, we found that the borrowed definition of action boundary will greatly interfere with the detection results. The above is the entire context of the report. Thank you for listening. Ever interested? our submission in the following aspects. Introduction. Video feature encoding. Proposed network BSN++. Model ensemble. Let's see an introduction. First, temporal action localization requires not only locate temporal boundary of action instance, but also classify and trim the videos into specific categories for motivation. In order to generate higher quality proposals, we consider the factors include video feature encoder, the proposal generator, the scale imbalance, and the ensemble strategies for contribution. We design a proposal relation block for proposal confidence evaluation, where two several attention models are adopted to model the proposal relation from two aspects. Besides, we devise a two-stage resampling scheme for equivalent balancing. Let's say video feature encoding. We use two stream network get a video feature. In BSN plus plus baseline, we adapt a two stream network portrayed on activity night to encode the visual feature of input video. In order to maximize the quality and the diversity of video features, we adopt many other ComNet architectures portrayed on Kinetix 700 dataset to further fine tune on ActivityNet with both modalities, including ResNet 50 being inception. These are adopted as visual encoders for feature extraction. This table shows different features. Let's say proposed network BSN++. BSN++ consists of a super base model and the extract the video representation for temporal information modeling, CBG, processing, the input video features to evaluate the starting and the ending probability sequence using a listed U-shaped encode-decode network. Proposal relation block. Model proposal and proposal relations with several attention models responsible for two different but complementary dependencies. CBG. We design our boundary generator as the encoder decoder networks because this kind of architecture is able to capture both high level global context and low level local details and at the same time. To reduce overfitting, we just add two down sampling layers to expand the respective field and the same number of upper sampling layers are followed to recover the original temporal re resolutions. Besides, deep separation is also performed for faster convergent speed and uh, 
this state skip connection are employed for bridging the semantic gap between feature maps of encoder and decoder parallel to fusion. Bidirectional evaluation is further adapted to leverage both past and future context for prediction. Proposal relation block. The goal of is, uh, this block is evaluate uh, confidence scores of dense proposal. Position of real attention model. The more similar of the feature means is a closer relation between the two proposals. Finally, the attender feature are further weighted summed up with the proposal features and fit to convolution layers for confidence prediction. Channel real attention model. In construct position of real attention model, this model directly performs channel with the matrix multiplication in order to exploit the interdependence among different channels. This can help enhance the proposal feature representation for confidence prediction. Also, we design a uh, two states resembling imbalanced uh, data di distribution can affect the model training, especially in the long tail dataset. Our resembling scheme consists of two states. MIAT not only balances the positive and the negative proposals, but also balances the temporal duration of the proposal. LOU balanced sampling, scale balanced resembling. Let's see model example. This part consists of post processing. Example, for post processing score function, the final scores of proposal in, involve the local boundary information and the global confidence scores. Example, example of multi-scale prediction result, example of multiple video representation, example classification result, different video class fields, example with BMN. This table shows performance of our method. Thanks. Temporal Scale Invariant Network. We participate this year's Temporal Action Localization Task in ActivityNet Challenge, and we achieve MEP of 41.09 in test server. Specifically, we propose a temporal scale invariant method to improve the detection performance on short actions, which is also one of our main methodologies. If we look back at the development of temporal action detection in recent years, we can conclude that there are four long-standing problems that severely restrict the detection performance. They are the diversity of action scale, the vagueness of action boundary, the variation of video lens, and limited video feature representation. Take the diversity of action scale, for instance. In real world, the scale of an action in a video can be varied in range of 0 to 1. However, if we observe the AUC performance of BMN and DBG on different action scales, we can discover that small-scale actions are harder to retrieve than long actions. The reason of this phenomenon can be interpreted as many folds. One important reason is a severe sample imbalance issue in anchor-based detection method. Considering there are two actions in a video, the shorter action is phi1 and the longer action is phi2. In anchor-based methods, an IOU map is learned to regress the completeness of candidate proposals, such as a blue map in the left. The darker point represents that the ground truth IOU is closer to 1. However, 
Current methods can well regress a large action phi 2, but poorly regress a short action phi 1. These results remind us why is the short action missed in the completeness regression. In our study, we attribute this issue to positive sample imbalance. For example, if we regard anchors whose ILU is larger than 0.7 as positive anchors, the long action phi 2 would have nearly 1,000 positive samples, while the short action phi 1 can only have no more than 200 positive samples. To be more clear, we plot the distribution of positive sample numbers with action scales and discover the severe positive sample imbalance issue in label assignment. Besides, if we increase the positive threshold from 0.7 to 0.9, the imbalance problem may get worse. To solve above problem, we propose a scale invariant loss function to balance the IOU regression for different scales of actions, named as temporal scale invariant network. TSI achieved a state-of-the-art performance in action proposal generation task. Our baseline model is BMN. When we experiment with the same feature, the AUC performance can be boosted from 67.10 to 68.35, and the recall of short actions is greatly improved. In this year's localization challenge, we implement the detection module in BMN framework and fuse the label with retrained classification results. For all models, we use different video features and different feature rescaling length to ensemble results. At last, our scale invariant method combined with BMN and BSN achieved 41.09 MAP in test server. In the future, we hope to dive deep into the aforementioned long-standing problems and propose a unified action detection framework. That's all. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to present our team's work about ActivityNet 2020 Task 1, Temporal Action Localization. It's quite a challenging task because of the activity complexity, action duration variability, and background cluttering. In our method, we mainly adopted three aspects of optimization. Firstly, we used the Matisco feature to solve the problem of uneven motion distribution. Secondly, we adopted multiple video encoding method, TSN, I3D, and SlowFast, to extract multiple patterns features of target. Finally, we adopted downstream base net and the receptive field block as BMN's base model. At the same time, SSN model was used to refine the temporary boundary and the confidence score. Besides, we rank the confidence score with the classification results. Mostly, existing method rescue each video's feature sequence to new lengths, such as 100 by linear interpolation, which may impair the feature representations of short action instances. By analyzing the distribution of proportion of action duration in video duration, we found that 41.44% action instance proportion is less than 20%, and 24.28% action instance proportion is larger than 18%. In our method, we used multiple duration snips at zero position to form original video feature. The videos will produce multiple features with different skills. We rescue the features to specific lengths. During our experiment, we used multiple duration, such as 5H16 exact, and we rescue the features to multi scale, such as 164, 100, 128, and 192. 
that is to say, we produce multi-skill feature and rescue it to multi-skill for each video. As it says above, we adopt familiar TSN, I3D, and newly appeared SlowFast to encode video. In order to improve the representation ability, we adopt the non-local structure to the network, and we also use multi-cropping to stable the output features. Multi-model feature is helpful in video representation. Similar with object detection, we also use a two-stage method and made some significant improvement based on BMN and SSN. We use the downstream basenet in DBG to strengthen the representation of visual content in PGM, which using three auxiliary supervision to supervise completeness classifier. Inspired by small object detection, we apply the receptive field block with delicate convolution layers to capture contextual information of short-range action. Besides, we use pre-trained SSN model to process each proposal generated by improved BMN. By this procedure, we get a temporal boundary regression offset and classification score, then adjust the boundaries of proposals with offset and refine proposal confidence score with corresponding action classification probabilities. In our work, we use the two-stage method to generate the sequential motion detection results using the improved BMN and SSN models. Through the improved BMN model, we can obtain a more reliable confidence score and the top-ranked proposal is closer to the real action segment. By using the CUHK 2016 result fail and using the SSN model to fairten the action nomination boundary and the resulting of classification scores can improve the effect of this method on the nomination task of sequential actions. Finally, by fusing multiple features of different skills, the final solution achieved a 14.643 MAP on the sequential motion localization task. This is the end of my presentation. Thanks for your listening. And this is a technical report for ActivityNet Action Detection Challenge 2020. We are the team from Alibaba Group. In this challenge, we divide action detection tasks into two parts, proposal generation and classification. Here, we mainly focus on proposal generation. In the following slides, we would introduce the frame level feature extraction and proposal generation. The frame level feature is extracted for the proposal generation. Here, we use three models, I3D, TSM, and SlowFast. We first cut the action and background clips of videos and random sample two seconds window size for network input. The video is resized to uh, with short size equals to 256, and we random crop 224 square image size for training. The output feature dimension is 256. Instead of utilizing the 200 category classification, the background clips are extracted as the extra category for better modeling the temporal and the spatial patterns of foreground and background. For action proposal generation, we use three models, BMN, DBG, and GTAD. BMN integrates the 2D confidence map and start and score prediction. DBG produces three score maps, start, end, and action completeness score maps simultaneously. While DBG utilizes the temporal and the semantic graph neural network to improve the capacity of proposal generation. We found the metric AUC for proposal evaluation cannot represent the performance of action detection, as the average action per video is 1.5.
The most related metric is AR1. From the table, we can see that GTAD achieves much better performance than other methods. Therefore, we use GTAD as our main model for proposal generation. Because most of the videos contain only one category of action, we utilize the unchained classification result from CUHK, which achieves more than 90% accuracy on the activity that tests the speed. We apply multiple feature combination, including TSM, SlowFast, I3D, RGB features, and uh, TSM optical flow features. We also try different window size, such as 1 second and 2 seconds for feature extraction. The best single model performance is achieved by using TSM RGB features concurrent with TSM optical flow features, as shown in the table. We ensemble the proposal of all the feature combinations and models and achieve 38 on validation set. And this result ended up with 38.12 on the online testing. Thank you for your listening, and this is our technical report for ActiveNet Action Detection Challenge 2020. Thank you.